Hi, I'm Dr. Perry Kamisa. Today's topic is whiplash. Not a fun subject to talk about, but a serious one. And I'm going to give you an overview of how it occurs and some of the treatment solutions that can be provided from Ultimate Chiro Care. So, talking about whiplash, you know, everyone gets in the car, puts on their seatbelt, but very few people um, really think about the head restraint. So, here we have the skull, and the head restraint should be to the top of your skull and it should be just a couple fingers from the back of your skull here as well. If you see on the picture here, you see where the skull is, the back of the skull, you see where the head restraint is right here. Well, that distance should only be about two fingers at the most. We want to make sure that the head restraint is in a safe position to provide you maximum protection. Taking a look at the skull, whiplash occurs. Most people think that whiplash occurs when there's a lot of trauma, meaning that you're taken to the hospital in an ambulance. Well, unfortunately, that's not true. I've been part of research uh, that uh, has involved uh, nine high-speed cameras, computerized cars that were all monitored for acceleration, and the participants were uh, involved in the cars, were all hooked up to computer systems. And unfortunately, damage can occur as little as four miles an hour. That's about as fast as you walking into the, into the corner of the, of the door frame. And so what happens is that we think of whiplash as getting the head going backwards this way and then moving forwards this way. Well, what we don't see and we don't really realize what happens is that the spine, before the head actually comes back to the head restraint, something unique happens to the spine. Where the spine itself buckles and basically um, has an abnormal shape take place in the spine. And that's where the injury occurs. And I'm gonna show you on x-ray what that looks like. When we take a look at the x-ray here, the green line represents what normal is. The red line represents where the patient is here. And this really represents a whiplash case. And patients come in with pain and tenderness and all types of different symptoms from dizziness to uh, blurred vision we can actually pinpoint to see where the problem occurs and how best to fix the issue. What we're looking at here is the report we get from the x-rays. We run it through a software system. I like to call it the GPS system. We have a normal view or the neutral view from the side. We have you bend your head forwards, have you bend your head backwards. And what the program does, it pinpoints exactly where the injuries occur by comparing your values to what normal is. And so in this particular case, we can see that C5-6 is the injured segment, and that's how we would be able to base our treatment protocol.